Hi everybody, it's Friday Morning Movie Reviews. I'm Los Angel. Nathan CK. And for an hour and a half, we were back in the eighth grade. Uh, this is Bo Burnham's directorial debut. And it stars Elsie Fisher as an eighth grader, Kayla. And this movie is really about a couple days in her life. Yes. And my God, this is the most raw and honest and real movie I've seen in so long. It's like the edge of 17, the edge of 13. Eighth, eighth yeah. Grade. yeah, eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade. You're 13 in eighth grade. <laughs> this movie is great, right? It, yeah. It's so real and it's so. The cringe yeah, that you will yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. You had a hoodie, I didn't, you know. You want to act yeah. out how I looked <laughs> for parts of this movie? You want to act out the way, yeah. the way I looked? I was like this. I was like, at one point. I was like, no, no. <laughs> because it's so real. And it make you know, you don't say no because what's going on is bad. It's just like, oh, dude, yeah. come on. You, you're, you're just a kid. Don't do this. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> like, I wasn't hurt when I was that age. But right. you see parts of right. yourself. You uh, do. What, you do. You, what do you think of the movie? You know, this movie is, is way different from Edge of Seventeen, but it is similar uh, in the fact that you're in the life of a girl who um, may or may not be... Um, 17. <laughs> uh, may or may not be 17, but may or may not be happy with the yeah. way they look. Um, the way they feel. The, the way, way they feel. Right. With, you know, anything. What they wear. Or even just their body, have that many their... friends, you know. And yeah. As it is not in high school, it is in middle school, but kind of going into yeah. high school, it's like this transitional area. It's very and, much a movie uh, about transition, about it is. growing it up is. and not staying in the same state that you were and in And we before. really don't know that much about her past, as she doesn't have a mother, but she has... It's just Josh Hamilton who plays her father. father. Figure. Josh and Hamilton. He is, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's, he's very real as well. Always funny, too. He is. And you're right, he's very real. He's very earnest and like Yeah. I believe him as a father. But he's also, you know, that that dad he's the, where he's, he's he's afraid of, you know, where she might be going because he she might, was at home a lot, you'd think. He crosses some lines. He does. In a way that will make you laugh and it's <laughs> endearing and But it's all good intentions, it's you know. Like it's, a sweetheart kind of dad. She's thing thirteen. To do. Like she's thirteen and you just follow her as, you know. She shadows a high school student, or she goes to the mall with friends for the first time, or yeah. goes to a pool party and talks to the popular girl that doesn't really, like, she just looks down at right, her. Right, right. And this movie's so charming and so real, and um, I have nothing but nice things to say about yeah. eighth grade. Yeah. I think one thing um, that was kind of big was, like, how much the phone played a big part the way the in this in yeah this movie, you know it's sitting down at dinner and about how technology right, affects the youth really and, affecting and there's an interesting conversation when they talk about well when I, even you know four years ago when i was your yeah. age i didn't have that what yeah age yeah right, that? right 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 yeah. and how now you could be wired differently because of the things you have access to you know and um the way it deals with you know, without getting spoilers, with the, in the sexual harassment uh, yeah, and how yeah, yeah. that kind of affects you, yeah, as a person. Yeah, that could but it, that could have been a it could have been huge different. Yes. you know, out of left field. But even without certain things happening, it still, you know, almost shuts her down artistically. Right, right, right. right you know, right, and it's so right. sad to see that and to know that that happens. And there's stuff in here about school shootings, and you know, yeah. Kids doing things that they really shouldn't do, but I feel like eighth graders should watch this movie because yeah. you know some of them feel this way and would relate to her, you know, in a real way. So, right. and allow you to empathize. Maybe mm. you're the popular girl and you don't, you ignore that person. Well, maybe right, this right. would make you look at them differently. And Elsie Fisher, in my mind right now, I have her and Tony Collette should be up for best actress. Because I thought she was tremendous, and for a child actor to be giving this performance, I I was yeah, blown away. Yeah. So I would, I hope she gets on the ballot, and uh, 
eighth grade might make an appearance on my top ten list. Mm -hmm. It might. <laughs> um, well, what else did you... Uh... Um, I also like, you know, her kind of self-made videos and those hit home old too real <laughs> too real <laughs> the no views <laughs> no one's watching this if you are hit like and you know you're you know that she's gonna be making this video and she know you know you, she's gonna be talking and saying some things that also relate to the next scene yeah or, or you know her life but maybe it's a, how she wants to it's a really portray things. Yeah, yeah, you beat me. You, know? <laughs> you hit it. And I also like these little boxes that she makes for herself. Yeah. It's like What's you in know, the box? Hey future self. You What's know, this is box? what I what I liked or what you should like or something. Yeah, no, this was me for, then. You know. And Those... you know, I like I like how that how that little that played a Yeah part in the movie i thought that was nice and those video scenes were also a great way of just like kind of getting the inner monologue without uh, having yeah, the inner yeah. monologue right and um it makes her more honest as a character mm -hmm. too and yeah i thought this was great uh and bo burnham i can't wait to see what he does next because i was just really kind of like i was an eighth grade girl for <laughs> the run time of this and everyone in the audience everyone else saw, was oh, we yeah. all turned oh, into yeah. eighth grade girls yeah for you know an hour and 33 minutes <laughs> and um thank you for this experience because now i you have a new way to empathize yeah yeah you do uh i'm gonna go four and a half out of 4.6 guys you had to yep uh <laughs> all right that's the review like comment, subscribe guys see you <laughs> you said we would do Gucci! Gucci! <laughs>